Porig is also a keen follower of the Alexander technique, which was taught to him by German woman Michaela Vogelmuth. I love the Alexander technique. I really do. It's, it's wonderful. And it, the problem is it's impossible to explain it adequately. We're holding so much extra unnecessary tension in our, in our arms because everything happens in the front. So we're working quite a lot with the arms, with the legs. So Paul is literally filling his body with conscious thought. That's what he's, doing. he's best doing once a day. And his spine can nicely lengthen here. I'm fairly handy at speaking in public to the outside eye looking at me. But I was hiding inside myself a lot of tension. So after sermons at mass and so on, I'd feel, um, I'd get heart attack, like symptoms actually, you know, gas coming and pains and, um, but I knew I was doing it to myself. You know, the inside now and the outside are much more in harmony. Porig and Michaela regularly help out at the Alexander Technique Teacher Training College in Galway. The Alexander Technique is basically a very simple technique for releasing muscle tension, but muscle tension, in my opinion, causes 80% of people's illnesses, backache, neck ache, uh, breathing problems, uh, even things like depression can be exacerbated by muscle tension. So we just help people to identify where they're holding the tension and then to help them let it go. And I find that most people um, stop moving better and just are generally happier and, and more carefree in their, in their movement and thoughts. Just that you're using the body in the best way possible. Um, you know, not compensating by leaning on one side or the other and uh, trying to allow the music to come out rather than tension in the muscles blocking that. It's often referred to as you know, re-education because everything was grand when we were small and without stress and tension and stuff like that. 